going to be a tutorial about how to solve the 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube. Now, if you don't, you need to know how to solve a 3x3 three three and a 4x4 four four before attempting this. If you don't own one, you might want to buy one or um, check out, find some simulated cube to do this. But you got to know how to solve these before you attempt this. Or else you're going to be very confused about what I'm saying. So, I do have tutorials about how to solve both of them and you can watch them by clicking on the link in the description. So if you're you already know how to solve them and you want to attempt a five by five, stay here. Okay, for those of you that are staying, let's get to it. Okay, now we're gonna start with the centers once again, but this time we gotta do a one by three bar instead. So we want to do the middle one first. Here we go. You can connect it like that. You can bring this up and then you can basically connect it like this. Yeah, it's very simple to do. And if it's up here, you might need to go up and grab it. So you just basically form these bars just the same way. But now this next one, you're going to want to um, do this. So you want to go up and you can grab this. So you want to form the middle one first and it'll make it easier. Then you can go down and grab this. So you can do that again. Very easy to do. So that's what you're going to be doing. You just do pretty much the same thing as a 4x4, four four, except you got to do the middle bar first. So, very similar. Now, we're, we're going to do that same thing for this. So, you can put that in. And another thing you can do is you can go up and grab it like this. Pair it up. Okay, now that we've done this, you do need to do it the way of the 4x4. Four four. So, you can go up, grab that, and go up and grab this. And go up and grab that. And another cool trick you can do is you can push this out of the way. Do that. Go up. Grab it. Now it shouldn't be too hard for you to do that, but this next, this last center can be a bit tricky. Okay, now for the last center here, so the last two centers, what we're gonna do is we always have to create the inner bar first. So you have to go up and grab the piece for it. Now what we're going to do is, now we can form these outer ones. So you want to take one of these here and you want to pair up a corner, you know. If there's one already paired up, that's okay. So I'll, you can go up, connect this, and bring it down. But here's one case where you don't have that. So what we're going to do is, you can bring it up, you can do that. You can push that out of the way. But a problem is, we can't pair it up now. It won't pair up. So to counter this, what we're going to do instead is, still bring it up, but when you move it over here, you can bring it down, and now it pairs up. So it shouldn't be too hard for you to do that, those parts there. So that's all it takes here. Okay, now when it comes on to edge pairing, you do it in the same way as the 4x4, but you want to look for these uh, so that you can pair those up first. So you rem remember, go in, replace it with random edges and revert the centers back to normal. And you want to do that same thing as you go along and what you can all So and another thing you can do also is get all three of them down. So we're going to take this one here. Just like that and then go up and replace it with random edges and then revert the centers back to normal. And remember, if you need to, it won't go in. Rotate it like that. Go up and replace it with random edges. Do this again. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. So very, it's very simple, and if you see a mismatch stitch, we can do a similar thing to the 4x4, but if you, you need to get it adjacent once again, but you can always move it back. So, slide it in, and then you want to apply the flipping algorithm from the 4x4. And again, it is R, F, I, U, R, I, F. Put the centers back to normal, and they become solved. 
So it's kind of a similar thing to the 4x4. So I want you to keep tearing them all the edges. And if you see an edge like this, you know, you might want to get a different one. Unless you there's absolutely no more edges. Okay, so it's the last few edges where it can be a bit tricky to um, pair up. So I want you to continue this until you get to the last um, two edges. Oh, and one other final thing here is if you see an edge like this where it's flipped wrong, you want to slide it in like this and you can apply the flipping algorithm. And reverse the centers back to normal. See, so yeah, if you don't have any up there, you gotta bring some in. Okay, now I just have two edges left. Okay, now our first case for the last two edges is this, where you got a mismatched edge and this. So, what you wanna do is you put it in, apply the flipping algorithm. Revert the centers back to normal, and they become solved. And now remember, when doing these algorithms, you may have to do that, but that wasn't necessary on this. Like I showed you before, on this case, you need to slide this in and apply the flipping algorithm. Revert the centers back to normal, and these also become solved, because those were also mismatched edges. Okay, but if you ever get this case here, where um, this edge is flipped wrong and there's no more random edges on it, you got to apply that parity algorithm. And now this is actually the same parity that occurs on the 4x4 and you use the same algorithm to fix it. Just remember that this is R and this is L. So the algorithm again is 2R, 2B, 2U, L. 2U, R, 2U, R, 2U, 2F, R, 2F, L, I, 2B, 2R. And as you can see, it has flipped these. Okay, and if you get this case here where um, there's two matched ones here, what you want to do is move one back if you need to, slide one in, apply the flipping algorithm, and you just get the same case again. Okay, now if you get this case where there are two mismatched edges, place this, push this in or this in, it doesn't matter. Any one will work. Apply the flipping algorithm, and then you'll get this case. But now if you get this case where these centers need to be switched, you want to do it either way, push it in any way, it doesn't matter. And then you will get one of those cases I already showed you. And there we go. There is nothing more to learn here than solving like a 3x3. Three three. Just solve it like a 3x3 three three and there are no parodies at all. After you do that, you, your 5x5 five five will be solved. This concludes the tutorial and please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for future videos and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.